Okay, so welcome yogis. This is Power Flow. So I'm gonna give you a little Power Flow pep talk. This is not a beginner's yoga class. So if you are new to yoga, if you're just getting started, or if you prefer more of a slow, relaxing class, um, if you have limited mobility, this isn't gonna be the class for you. But if you like more of a fitnessy type yoga, if you like to move and flow, really build up some heat in your body, really build up that kind of like shortness of breath, and then we gain it back when we calm down. Um, you know, if you like to move and flow, this is a really good class for that. We're gonna have some fun, upbeat music tonight, and we're just gonna let go. We're gonna move and flow. We'll just see what comes. I didn't really make a plan for class tonight. I decided, you know what, it's Friday. It's been a weird week. It's been a weird two weeks and we're just gonna let go and flow with the music. So I invite you to do whatever feels good for your body tonight. If something I suggest does not feel good for you, certainly modify or do something different. You always have the option to make this practice your own. Okay, yogis, it looks like we've got quite a few people here, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, our flow is going to be about 50 minutes today. I'm going to meet you on the mat. I'm going to get the music going. You're going to find a comfortable seat, whatever works for your body. So whether that be cross-legged or some other way, go ahead and find your comfortable seat, your Sukhasana pose. I'll get the music going and I'll meet you back on the mat. So if you haven't closed your eyes yet, go ahead and close your eyes and really ground into your mat. Feel your sitting bones and your tailbone connecting to the energy of gravity, keeping you anchored here in your practice. As you connect deeper to this energy of gravity, just for now, soften your body. Give yourself permission to let go. As you soften, take deeper breaths in and out. Relax all the way from head to toe. The muscles of your face let go. Your shoulders relax. Your ribs and your side body relax lower body relaxes, just everything lets go for now, and you take deeper breaths in and out. Let go of your day, let go of your week, let go of whatever series of events led you to this moment that may distract you right now. Just for now, set them aside. You can always pick up all of those thoughts later after practice if they're still important. For now, as you breathe and relax, just begin to tune inward, paying more attention to yourself, to where your body needs to let go, to where you need to breathe. this opportunity to really slow down and still your mind, balancing out all the work that it's been doing. And just as much as you're balancing out the thoughts in your mind, balance your breath, inhales, matching exhales, matching inhales, creating a rhythm. And you'll also use this rhythm of your breath as an anchor tonight to Keep you present. Keep focusing on your breath. Keep relaxing your body. Keep anchoring in. Keep your eyes closed, bring your hands together at your heart, blink your eyes open on an inhale, sweep your arms overhead, join at the top, exhale back down to your heart, two more breaths.
your legs are crossed, switch to crossing your legs. Just for a moment, let's warm up the wrists, rolling the wrists around in circles. Go the other way. Let's just do the wave for a moment, really opening up those muscles through the hands, fingers, wrists, forearms. Can you slow down your wave? Can you switch direction? Breathe through it, relax your shoulders. And again, slow down your wave and just shake it out. Relax your arms by your side. Let's look left and right. Just one more each way. Once you come back to neutral, inhale to look up, exhale to look down. Up the neck, stretching out your chest and your throat for deeper breaths. Let's just do one more. Once you find neutral, start to roll your shoulders back, down, and away. Relaxing. And let's take one big reach behind, taking those hands behind, ground in, press through your triceps, open up, press your pelvis forward, really open across your chest. Draw your navel up and in, Uddiyana Bandha. And bring it back to neutral. Let's take a twist, right hand across, left hand behind. Other side. Back to center, flip it over to tabletop. Let's just start with our cow and cat. Warming up your spine. Really feel that movement all the way through from head to tail. We've got one more here. As you slow back down, go to your first downward facing dog. Take any movement that you need to. Deep breaths as you relax your head. Grab one more breath here, walk up to your hands. Come all the way up to standing, ground into your mountain pose. Take a breath overhead. Exhale all the way down and fold Uttanasana. Stay here, letting go. Again, any movement you need, any modifications or advancements that you need, just take a few breaths. Remember that Uddiyana Bandha, navel in. Take a half lift, step out to tabletop. We're gonna find some balance. Extend your left foot back, really reaching out through your toes. Reach your opposite hand out, thumb up. Find that balance with long spine, long neck. And let's bring it all back down. Other side, reaching out. When you draw that navel in, it squares your hips. It helps you find balance. Strengthens your diaphragm as well. Helps you to breathe deeper. Go ahead and relax. We're gonna take a child's pose all the way down. Use this opportunity to sink and relax your head and breathe deeply, clear your mind. Grab maybe one more breath, and then you're gonna roll it forward into a plank pose. Take your time. You're gonna hold it, and you're gonna rock it back and forth. 
long spine, strong shoulders, and give a little tuck, that mula bandha activates, along with that navel drawing in. We've got one more, and then take your chaturanga, inhale the up dog, hold it for your stretch. Stretch out those abdominal muscles. Relax your glutes. Let's go to down dog again. This time we'll hold. Let's take some deep breaths, slow it down. Walk up to your hands, come all the way up to standing, ground into mountain. Inhale overhead, exhale hands to heart this time. And then interlace your hands, take them behind your head. Press your head into your hands, your elbows are wide, shoulders are down. Really stand tall, root through your legs. Find those deep breaths. If you wanna drop your elbows down, go ahead. We've got a few breaths here to explore. Any side bending, any change of the neck. Whenever you're ready, come back to center, release your arms. Roll your shoulders back down and away. Grab one more, ground into Tadasana, inhale, reach overhead, exhale, fold all the way down. Take an inhale to half lift, exhale to plank pose, hold it, and breathe. Inhale first, exhale to Chaturanga, find your up dog, find your down dog. We'll hold. And then lower down to hands and knees. Find your tabletop, reset wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna take the left foot out, point your toes, right hand out, find the balance. We're gonna move with this on an inhale, it's like a cow, reach out. On the exhale, cat, knee to elbow. And then inhale, reaching out. Exhale, drawing in, find that balance. We got two more. And then you're gonna bring it all down. Reset, just shake it out if you need to. Take a deep breath in and out. When you're ready, go to the other side. So find the balance. And then inhale, really reach. Exhale, curl it under. It's like a cat-cow, but we extend the whole body. We have one more round. Once you finish, just relax. Go ahead and take another child's pose. Relax your body. Clear your mind, deep breaths. Remember to balance your inhales and your exhales. Let's go up to down dog. Take your time getting there. You're gonna start to take your dog for a walk, just one knee at a time. Bend and press, switching it out. Really let those hips lift up and back, navel drawing in, head is relaxed. Take maybe one more each way and then walk up towards your hands. And come up to standing, ground into your mountain. Take three breaths, inhale overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, let's go into our side bend. Reach your right arm overhead and really lean into it. Now we're gonna move with the breath. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, other side. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. Keep going. We'll have our opportunity to hold in just a moment. But we're just going to warm up those intercostals, those muscles between the ribs. All right, get ready. This time the right arm goes up. 
and we hold it. Left arm is relaxed, navel draws up and in. You can look wherever you need to. You can bend your elbow, reach out, just stretch through your rib cage. Grab one more inhale and exhale and then inhale up and bring it over to the other side and just breathe here, open up. Right arm is heavy. All right, let's inhale, reach both arms up, really stretch through those fingertips. And then exhale, fold all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale to a half lift, exhale to plank pose, just hold it here. Take that pause for an inhale. And then exhale, roll through Chaturanga, find your up dog, and find your down dog. We're gonna hold the down dog. Let's reach our right leg up to three-legged dog. Keep your hips squaring down. When you're ready, step it through to a runner's lunge. Hands around your foot, just really reaching out, long spine here. Can you find a twist? Left arm up, twisting towards your knee. I might have said the wrong arm, sorry. Just twist towards your knee. When you're ready, come down. All right, let's step into down dog. Take a breath or two, reset. And then we'll take the other leg up and bring it through, stepping into a lunge. Just hold. Really find that length in the body first and then reach your arm up, twisting towards your knee. Let's bring it all back down. Step it to your down dog. And hold. Come down to tabletop. From here, take your right arm up. Really reach and open up. And then thread it under, lowering all the way down to your twist. Relax your head, breathe into it. Your left hand can explore if it needs to. Notice all this energy running through your body, all this heat that you've created. Let's unwind. We'll go to the other side, left arm big, reach up. And then bring it under and your twist, just relax. Right arm can explore. Grab one more breath and unwind. And find your down dog. Take your time getting there. Just hold it for a few breaths. Let's walk up to the hands, all the way up to standing. Grab your breath overhead. Let's interlace our hands behind. Maybe the opposite way this time and just pull back. For now, just grab a stretch. And then bend your knees and fold all the way down, keeping those hands behind. Bend your knees as much as you need to or as little. Use your hands to pull yourself all the way up. Use your core and belly draws in. And then release back down, shake it out. Let's inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Step into a high lunge, left foot forward, right foot back, and hold. You can take your arms up if it feels good, soft shoulders. Now we're gonna take our arms behind and lean forward. And then can you bring them back up overhead again? Can you straighten the legs? Really reach through your fingertips, take an inhale. Exhale into your lunge, reach those arms back, lean forward. We're gonna do that with breath. Inhale up, exhale down. We got three more. Just follow your breath. Knee tracking forward. 
Now on this last one, we're finding humble warrior. So as you reach down, interlace your hands again. Pull back. You can always rest on your thigh or hover. Pull those hands away to help. One more breath. Find your runner's lunge. Breathe into it. Step back to down dog, hold. Take a deep breath or two. Notice the legs. Hop, step, or jump up to the top of the mat. Take your time coming up. Take one breath overhead. And then move to your high lunge on the other side. For now, just set up the balance. And then reach your arms overhead. And then just test that balance, leaning forward, knee tracking forward, arms reaching back. Good, let's inhale, reach up, start to straighten the legs, really reach those hands up. And when you're ready, come back down, let's keep going. Just follow your breath, follow your balance. We got three more. Press, press, press into that front foot. Squeeze through your leg. On this last one, find your humble warrior. Interlace the opposite way if you can remember or if you can. And hold. Bring it to runner's lunge. Step it back to your down dog and hold here. Walk up to your hands. Come all the way up to standing. Grab a deep breath overhead. Hands to heart. One more time, hold all the weight down. You're gonna stay here. Just hang out in your forward fold, whatever you need. Slow your breath down. Take your time coming back up. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's go back to our neck. Just relax your hands, bring your chin to chest. Roll your right ear to right shoulder. Back down through your chest, left ear to left shoulder. We're just gonna take that side to side. Keep your jaw relaxed, let go of any tension. Maybe one more each way and then return to center. Let's take our yogi squats, toes and knees out, lower down wherever you wanna to go tonight. Heels touching or not, just breathe into it. Slow everything down. We're gonna open up into this squat if it feels good. Lean into the right side, really press your elbow in. If you want to open up, go ahead. And then we'll move it over to the other side. Really drop your elbow in, lean in, and open up. And then bring it down. Let's come all the way back up to standing. Reset into your mountain pose. Take an inhale overhead. Exhale, fold all the way down. Take a half lift, step out into tabletop. So we're gonna give these legs a break. We're gonna focus on the arms. We're gonna do some chaturanga push-ups. I'm gonna encourage you to do these on your knees first. Really walk forward into a knee plank. Tuck your tailbone under, draw your navel in. We're gonna do this at a three count. So elbows stay glued in. Here we go. We're gonna go three, two, one. Press back up. Keep going. Three, two, one. Up, keep going. Long neck. Use the breath. You have one more. Three, two, one. Press back up all the way to child's pose. Stretch those arms out, just relax. Breathe into that energy that you're creating, that heat you're building. And let's go all the way into a plank this time. And you're gonna go right back into your down dog, lifting your hips, relax your head. 
lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. We're gonna bend the knee, flex the foot, and kick over opposite hip. Now try to keep your chest squaring down. Really open up, maybe even on the opposite leg more than the one you're lifting. And we'll bring it all the way down. We're gonna go to the other side. Relax your head. And then bring it all back down. Set up your feet for a squat. Walk back into that squat, lower down. Hang out here for a moment, bring hands to heart. Let's press all the way up to standing. Reset your feet to mountain. Take an inhale overhead. Exhale, fold all the way down. Take a half lift. Walk out to your plank pose again. Now I'm gonna give you the option. We're only gonna do three of these chaturanga push-ups. We're still gonna do a three count. You can lower to your knees if you need to, but we're gonna get ready to go. Take an inhale, here we go. Three, two, one. Press two more. Three, two, one. Squeeze, last one. Down dog, right away. Breathe into it, stretch out those arms. And walk up to your hands. Come all the way up to standing, take a breath overhead. Hands to heart. Can we do two more, really ground in. Step your feet wide, come into a half squat or goddess pose. Come down to your thighs, really support yourself here. We're going into a twist, drop your right shoulder in, look away. Move it to the other side. Bring it back to center and stay here, but just take any movement that you need to. Take some freedom to explore your body. Listen back in. What do you need just right now to create more space for your breath? To release any tension. We're gonna grab maybe one more breath and press up. Turn your toes forward, get ready for a wide standing fold. Come all the way down and relax. Now we're not gonna do it this time, but tonight we're gonna have fun. If you can headstand, you're gonna get that opportunity towards the end of practice. If you can't headstand, you're just gonna work on deepening your fold here. Really allowing the crown of your head to try to come down more. There's no pressure. As always, listen to your body, but for now we're just gonna roll back up. And step it in. Take a breath overhead, hands to heart. We're gonna find tree pose, ground into your right foot, start to lift your left foot wherever it wants to go tonight. And bring the arms up if that feels good or anywhere else they wanna go. Remember to match those inhales and exhales, that's how you find the physical balance and really let everything go like you did seated at the very beginning. Relax your shoulders, everything grounds down. One more breath, lower down. Take your time moving to the other side. Might be different, just explore what's working for you tonight. Breathe wherever feels good. Grab one more breath. Release all the way back down. Relax your arms. We're gonna take an inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, fold. Half lift to plank. Move through your vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Hold your down dog and breathe. Breathe. 
Lift your right leg up to three-legged dog. Step it through to runner's lunge. Right away, reach your arms up to a high lunge. Find the balance. Keep reaching your thumbs back to a crescent lunge. Your knee bends the more you reach back. Take an inhale. On the exhale, come back down to runner's lunge. Step up to the top of your mat. Hold and hold here. Just pause. And then roll it up to the mountain. Take an inhale overhead. Right away, you're going to fold right back down. Uttanasana. Take a half lift. Step out to plank. Move through your vinyasa to down dog. Hold there for just a pause. Take your opposite leg up, three-legged dog. When you're ready, big step through to a runner's lunge. Rise up, high lunge. Once you're ready, find the balance. Crescent if you want to take that option. And then take an inhale and the exhale, find your runner's lunge again. Step to the top and fold. Hang out here. Let's roll it all the way up to standing, one breath overhead. Fold all the way back down. Half lift to plank. We're moving through our sun salutation. Take your vinyasa. Meeting in down dog. And this time we're just gonna hold it. Maybe take a deep breath in and open mouth exhale. Take a moment to find some stillness. Walk, step, jump up to the top of your mat, fold and hold there. And then roll all the way up to standing. Grab your breath overhead, hands to heart. One more time, reach overhead. Fold all the way down, take a half lift. Step out to plank, move through your vinyasa. You're gonna meet in down dog again and hold. Take a little pause, reset. Start to lift your left leg up to three-legged dog. Now keep holding. Really sink your chest towards your thighs and start to walk back to either an L stand or a standing split. So you're going to decide where you go. It's okay if you're just out in a three-legged dog. Find what works for your body. Keep holding. Crown of your head points down. Hips are squaring down. Grab one more breath and then meet in a fold. Take your time getting there, walking back. Just release, stretch those hamstrings. And then walk it all the way back out to your down dog. Reset. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna try your standing split on the other side. So lifting your leg up to a three-legged dog, hips are square. Maybe you just walk back a little. Maybe you start lifting your leg. Maybe you keep going. Explore, just like your tree pose, it might be different on one side versus the other. Really let the crown of your head get heavy. Draw your navel in. Draw that root lock in, Mula Bandha as well. Let's let it go and fold. Just relax. Just take a little half lift. Walk out to hands and knees. Take your child's pose and rest. Really good job. Just take a moment to clear your mind. Soften your body. Let go of any tension you discover. Find the rhythm of your breath. Go to down dog. Take your time walking up to your hands. Come all the way up to standing. Grab your breath overhead. 
hands to heart. Let's open up to a warrior two. Step your right foot forward, your left foot out. When you're ready, reach your arms out and really open up. Press into the outer edges of your feet. Reach out long through your arms. Look out over your front hand. Let's straighten the leg, really squeeze. And let's reach those arms up. Take an inhale, reach to the fingertips. Exhale, lower back down to warrior two. We're gonna keep going with our breath. Inhale, really reach and rise. Exhale, lower, extend. Keep going, we have three more. Looking out so your knee goes where your hands go, where your gaze goes. On this last one, we're gonna hold that warrior two and then reverse it. Start straightening your leg again. Squeeze and reach out. Draw your navel in to support. Grab one more breath and back to your warrior two. Let's windmill down to runner's lunge. Step it back to down dog. Hop, step, jump up to the top of your mat. Fold and release. Roll up to standing, grab your breath overhead. Hands to heart, move to your warrior two on the other side. Opening up across your body. Let's flip the palms and just reach up, reach to the fingertips, squeeze your legs. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower back down. Keep going. Follow your breath, follow your gaze. We've got two more. And then once you slow it down, reverse your warrior right away. Reach through your leg, extend all the way up. Really squeeze one more breath and then bring it back down to your warrior two. Take an inhale and pause, exhale, pause. When you're ready, look where you're going, windmill down, runner's lunge, step back to your down dog. Breathe into it. Walk back to your feet. Stay in your fold and bind somewhere to your leg. So taking hold, so that you can lean in a little deeper. Maybe you go all the way down to your ankles. If you can touch the ground, make a peace sign with both hands and wrap those peace fingers around your big toes. Really anchor in by bending your elbows. Crown of the head points down to stretch out. You can always bend the elbows if you're higher up to go deeper as well. We've got maybe two more breaths here. Take your time rolling up. Take a deep breath overhead. We're gonna go into eagle arms just to open up the shoulders. So reach your arms wide. Cross your right over your left. Find your eagle arm and hold it. As you hold, really reach out and up. Ground into your feet. Soften the rest of your body. Release your arm, shake it out. Get ready to move to the other side. Out and away. and then release back down. So yogis, this is your opportunity to take your inversion. That's either gonna be a wide standing fold like we discussed, or if you're feeling confident, maybe to bring your head to the ground. If you're feeling confident to take a headstand, this is your opportunity to do so. So we're just gonna start in the wide fold. We're gonna make our way down from there. You can choose what kind of headstand you want to do. For the sake of being able to hear me, I'm gonna go with the version on my forearms. So make sure that your head can comfortably come down if this is what you're gonna do. And then when you're ready, maybe tiptoe up. If you want, maybe just take one leg off and just play around with that. 
or maybe you go all the way up, you're gonna decide where you go if you feel like reaching up into your headstand. Remember, this is power flow, not for beginners, but wherever you're at, draw your navel in, whether you're upside down, whether you're in your fold, and wherever you can breathe. So if you can't breathe upside down, then come back up. We've only got maybe one or two more breaths. If you're in your inversions, go ahead and lower your feet down. And then when you're ready, go ahead and roll all the way back up. Awesome job wherever you went today. Go ahead and step back up into your mountain pose. Let's take a deep breath overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. You're gonna do that two more times. And we're gonna find a squat coming all the way down and sinking in. Just relax, clear your mind. So your tailbone was pointed up and now it's pointing down. We're balancing out. So really allow it to go down. Allow all of those low back muscles to relax. Your low belly muscles, everything just kind of gets loose for a moment. Sinking in, relaxing those inner thighs. And let's step it out to a down dog. Take your time getting there. Take an inhale, reach your left leg up. On the exhale, step it through to pigeon pose. Lower down, take your time getting there. We'll be here for a little bit so you can breathe. Really focus on relaxing all the way through. <clears throat> Relax your mind just as much as your body. That mind can really cause you to tense up, so try to let go. We've got maybe one or two more deep breaths. And then take your time walking all the way back up to down dog. Pause in your down dog. Compare your left leg versus your right. When you're ready, go to the opposite side. Your pigeon might be different here. Just explore what works for your hips. Whatever you need to do to relax your body. Relax your mind. Find that rhythm of your breath again. Take your time coming up. Swing your back leg around to meet your front leg. Find Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. And just hold here. Fold if it feels good. You're gonna relax your body wherever you are. Keep your right leg where it is, extend your left leg long. Turn your knee up, cross your foot over, twist Toward your knee. Half Lord of the Fishes pose. Breathe into it. Let's bring it back around and find our seated pigeon or figure four. Hands come behind. Breathe into your hips. Make sure to keep really strong shoulders here. Pressing into your hands, use your triceps. Start to extend your leg along. We're gonna take the opposite twist. So cross your foot over, half lord of the fishes, twisting towards your knee, looking away. Unwind, open up your hips. 
seated figure four or seated pigeon, also known as half choir log. It has many names. They all mean the same thing, hip opener. Breathe into your outer hips and your IT band. Keep your hands where they are. We're gonna uncross the legs, feet ground in, and you're gonna take them wider than your hips. Just rock your knees side to side. Once you feel balanced, return to center. You're gonna set up for a tabletop reverse style now. <clears throat> your fingers are facing forward, your toes are facing forward, your navel draws down, you tuck in that mula banda, little tuck of the tailbone. Everything holds as you press and lift. Let the whole front of your body pull you up, press with your hands and feet, keep some strength in your neck. Grab one more and then lower back down. Let's find butterfly, Baddha Konasana again. Take your time coming up. Now we're gonna try that reverse tabletop, but this time on the forearms, just for fun. Go ahead and come down to your forearms. You can make fists or go flat hands, that's up to you. Everything's facing forward, everything's hip distance. Just like before, you're gonna tuck in and lift. Really press, open up through your chest. Use the strength of your upper body. One more breath. Lower all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Lower your feet wider than your hips, knees are bent. Rock side to side. Let's do one more each way. And then hug your left knee in, your right leg goes long. Just relax your feet. Take your foot up to the sky, flex your foot, wrap behind your leg, go higher if you need to. If you can reach your toes, again, you can make that peace sign with your hand and wrap that around your toes. Either hand or both. Take an inhale on your exhale, release your leg long, switch it out, hug your knee to chest. Relax your feet. Take your foot up, wrap behind your leg, flex your foot, go deeper if you need to. Grab another breath. Hug your knees to chest. Give yourself a little squeeze and set up for one bridge pose. It's just one tonight, so set up your feet hip distance. Toes are facing forward. Bring your hands down. When you're ready, tuck, press, lift, and hold. You can always walk your shoulders under if you need to. Lift your heart. Lift your hips. Press into the ground for one more breath. And lower back down. Now rock your knees side to side. Grab one more each way and then hug your knees in. Take your feet up, flex and point your ankles. and then roll your ankles in circles. Make sure to go both directions. Hug your knees in, hands on your knees, roll your knees in circles, massage out your low back.
Make sure to go both directions again. And then when you're ready, just release all the way down. Start to find your Shavasana. Fully relaxing your body now. Giving yourself the opportunity to find some stillness again. Take deeper breaths in and out. Even let your exhales get longer and deeper than your inhales. Each breath out invites you to let go more. Start to relax the muscles of your face, relax around your eyes, relax throughout your jaw. Relax the back of your head and your neck and your shoulders. Relax across your chest. Relax down throughout your arms. Relax your hands and your fingers. Relax the sides of your body. Relax your abdominal muscles and your belly. Relax your back muscles. Relax all the way down your spine. Relax your hips and your glutes and down throughout your legs. Relax your feet and toes. Relax your whole body. Relax your mind. Very gently come back and more aware now, taking deeper breaths with your eyes closed, moving your fingers and toes, and then reaching overhead if it feels good. Take a few deep breaths all the way through your body. On your next exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze or a rock side to side. Take your time rolling over, pressing back up to a comfortable seat, just as you started your practice tonight. And once you find that Sukhasana pose, bring your hands to heart and your eyes closed. Just taking a moment to settle in. Find supportive posture. 
Continue to keep your mind here. Feel yourself anchored into your mat. Sitting bones anchored, tailbone anchored. And as you anchor in and connect back to this energy of gravity, allow it to take over, pulling away any tension that you need to let go of still. Breathe away that tension with your exhale. Take these final moments to reflect on your practice. Notice all you did tonight and notice how you feel. Begin to lift your heart towards your head, bow your head towards your heart. Seal in the gesture of gratitude. Show thanks for your body and breath, thanks for your health, thanks for your energy, thanks for this time to be anchored in and present. Today we'll seal with three deep cleansing breaths. Inhale overhead. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. The light in me honors the light in you, Yogi. Namaste.